right, thank you for joining me back in the shed again today. Today I'm just working on one of these two pieces. I think I'm going to lean more towards the wrench. So I got these from a company which I deal with, who are really, really good actually, lovely bunch of people. It's St Albans Wood Recycling. So if anyone lives near St Albans in the UK, and is into wood working, whether it's you like working with softwoods or other hardwoods, whatever else, go and give them a try. Really, really friendly bunch. Let them know that you heard it through Shed Creation as well. So I picked these up, they've just finished clearing out somewhere who used to do cabinetry, which is so this is where I've also got that piece of walnut crutch or crutch walnut, should I say. You might have noticed it when I put it up on one of the uh, shorts, if you've been paying attention. But it's this piece. There's a lovely piece of wood. And I'm still finalising the design for that, so that will be an upcoming project soon enough. But they were kind enough to do me a really good offer, or a really good deal, should I say, on these two pieces. So I've got this piece of wench, which is got a really lovely brain pattern to it. Again, as I'm sure some of you woodworkers will know, wench is a lovely, lovely wood. So that, I think, is just going to be a simple set of coasters. I think now, for the size of it, there's not a lot else I can do with it, I don't think. So that's what that's going to be. This piece may end up being the same sort of thing, but because of this piece here, I may make a mould and fill this with resin just to square it off. But that's still to be decided on. This, I believe, from looking at it, from the brain, the colouring, everything else, I believe it is one of my favourites. I think it is Sapile, but it's more from the outside part of the tree, obviously, with the bark. But it is a lovely piece as well. It's a very interesting brain pattern on it. And I think because of the live edge part that was here, I think with a nice resin in there, We'll make a lovely set of coasters. Essentially, it's, it's there's not a lot else to do with them, but I appreciate what they've done for me. So this is the piece I'm going to work with today. So it's obviously been used in some sort of cabinet somewhere. Hence why it's got the groove in the back there to take the back panel or something, and it's got a part here which is probably where the drawers or a door shut onto it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to rip it down to get rid of this lip and also rip it down to get rid of there. I'm undecided yet as to whether I'm going to take it and split it straight down the middle as well, just so I can make a few more. This at the moment is an inch thick. And I think if I run it through, obviously I will get, I'll, I'll double yield out of it essentially. These pieces that I rip off the side, they won't be thrown away either. They will be kept and used with some of those. As you know, I like to get some of my hardwoods and other woods as well, just the scraps, just because they will find a place somewhere. So I'm going to keep all them bits. And like I say, if I do split it, at least then I can double the yield and see what happens with it. So for now, I'm going to get the bandsaw set up. I'm just going to rip this off on the bandsaw rather than set up my table saw. Just, it's easy enough. So once I've got it ripped down, I'll bring it back.
Right, so that is that trimmed down, resawed into two pieces. They're both around about 12 mil thick. Obviously because of the thickness of the blade, it just rips off that little bit more. But they are, they've come out quite nice actually. I'm quite happy with that. So the next step is to cut them down. I want to make them square. So these, I think are around about three and three quarter inch. Pedipult either just over three and a quarter. So just over three and a quarter inches uh, square, uh, thick, should I say that way. So that's the next step now is to rip them down into pieces where they're three and a quarter all the way around. Then I'm going to put a little chamfer on them. I think I might only put a small chamfer on one side, but I may even just leave them there and just give the edges a soft lap. That I'll still decide on. So let's get it marked up. Back off the bandsaw now, back of the work table. Got these all finished. They're just over three and a quarter inches in either way, and they're just over 12 mil. So we'll stay with 12 mil. That's how work thickness we're going to go for. I've just got to do a bit of cleaning up on the bottom and a little bit of a light sanding on top here. So as you can see from that, I've managed to get four sets, which I'm really happy with actually because they're really nice in the grain pattern. I'm, I'm going to keep the sets sort of with each other so if you match them if you put them next to each other they'll match up a little bit I'm really chuffed with it really chuffed that I've managed to get four sets because obviously that makes potential profit from that one block that bit more because it's four sets instead of just a two which is what I thought I was going to get so I'm really happy with that so let's move on to the next step I'm going to get a belt sander that I've got, tabletop one, and just give these a little bit of loving on the bottom, just because I can keep them flat, I can keep them against the fence as well, give them a rough over that way. So let me quickly go and get that and get it set up. Back with you in a minute. Right, we're ready to go ahead with this now. I've got the sander set up. PPE, obviously all ready. So we're ready to go ahead and just start knocking these out, just start getting them all flattened off and smooth. I'm going to keep them in the batches that I've got them because I like the way the grain runs together. That's why I cut them the way I did. Because then each one of them, when you sit it side by side, the grain runs right through it still. So on a set of four, if you run them side by side, it will just look like the plank that I had. So let's get cracking. Right, so we're at a stage now where we're going to do a bit of final sanding on it. I've decided against going for a chamfer on them. Just because I really like the way they look just as a block. And I think if I put a chamfer on it, just because of how thin they are, I'm not convinced it'll look decent. So we're going to go and just sand these down now. I've got a 120 on here, well sorry, 180 on here. 220 and then a 320 that'll be his final one in between the 220 and 320 i will give it a little spray with some water 
little bit of a spritz to bring their grain up just to get them nice and smooth so when I do put the finish on them that I'm going to use they'll be proper nice yeah, they'll, they'll be decent so that's what we're doing there And just again quickly, I am going to keep them all separated because I want to keep them in the little batches so I know which one's which. Just so again, so I keep that grain running properly. Everything's been taken to a 320, so it's nice and smooth. Next step now is just to apply the finish. I've already put some a little spritz of water on it just to pop the grain. Took that off again, so it feel really, really nice actually. I'm really happy with how they're turning out. So I'm going to use Danish oil to finish it, just because I really like the way it brings out the grain in most woods, but from what I've read, it really does pop the grain in in uh, Wenge. So, also, how do you pronounce it? Is it Wenge? Is it Wenge? Yeah. What is the, pronoun the right pronunciation for it? Maybe you can help me out on that as well. Right. That's number four. And that's with just, you can't really see it very well. I'll get some better pictures of it. But that's just with one little, little light of coating of it. It will have a couple of coats of Danish oil. They all will. Really want to get a good coating on these first lot, on this first one. Now I need to work out how I'm going to store them. So the coasters are all done, and I'm happy with them. Ignore this little thing at the moment, that's something else. This is what they've turned out like. As you can see, they've got quite a bit of a sheen to them. You, know? you can see on these ones, maybe the grains come out, but what I'll do is I'll put some pictures up online with it as well, at the end of the video, and obviously on the website. What I'd done with these originally, like I said to you in the video, I was going to put a Danish oil on them to finish them that way, just with that little product, because I like using Danish oil. I always find it brings out the colours of the wood really nicely, and it's, it's, quite a, it's a quality product. But it just, for some reason, it didn't look right on these. When I put it on there, it made the black part of the grain go really odd looking, and... Uh, it left a really funny finish on it. Even after a bit of sanding and reapplying, sanding and reapplying, it just wouldn't go right. So I completely sanded them off, got rid of everything off of it, left them to fully vent out for a while, and again, sanded them again to bring them up to the water quality that I wanted them to be. And then I used a polycrylic on it instead, and just gave all of them a good, I think it ended up being about two, maybe three coats. So there's plenty on there. Nat's had some time now to fully harden, so I know that these are these are going to last. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy with it. So I say that's them done. Time to start working on the next projects. Hopefully you guys follow along with me for those as well. As you can see, there is one sitting in the corner. The shows up on the YouTube that a lot of people were watching are not subscribed. Do me a favor, go ahead and just push that button, subscribe. Come on, join me for the little venture. Learn stuff while I learn stuff, hopefully. 
you know, or even just have a giggle at me learning stuff. That's all it's about. I'm, I'm not here for anything serious. So subscribe, follow along. I appreciate it all, as always. I'll see you on the next one. Happy days.